My name is Randy Lynn Boucher Gallego. I am originally from Santee and Sisseton on my dad's side, and then on my mother's side, I am Diné. I don't say I create art. I create the items that will empower us as people. So when I think of Dakota women a hundred years ago, they created these things out of love, and it wasn't this term or this label, I am an artist. It was like, I am a mother and therefore I cherish this child, so I'm going to adorn them with these things. And that's my role, that's my kinship role to them. Wow, those are beautiful. That is so intricate. When I came here and went into the collections here, it was eye-opening, but at the same time, it gave me a better idea of who we were. When you go in there and you look at these you know, belongings, you start to see a personality of who the people were. You start to have a better idea of who your grandmothers were and what they looked like a hundred years ago, rather than what people tell us they're supposed to look like. We have answers that are within these cultural items. After being in a couple collections and seeing what the cradle boards looked like, I did change the style. The traditional cradles were actually soft covers. And so there was an adorned hood and then the open blanket that came down and it wrapped the baby so the baby was more secure. It's more true to the style of cradles that we had. And then there's the 1830s cradles. Those cradles were so delicate and pristine and just, just the amount of love that went into making it. Do I have a right to create this cradle? I mean, because those cradles are just priceless. I don't see anybody with them today. But to bring that back, I think that would be the end goal of all my research and my dedication is to create that cradle and bring it back home to our community.